If you're someone who's been struggling to keep up with your budget, this video is for you. My name is Munif Ali and I became a self-made multimillionaire in my early 20s. I've built multiple brick and mortar businesses with billions of dollars in sales. I started making videos like this to share my life experiences so that I could teach you how to become more successful, not only in life, but in business. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, like the video, and then share it with people who you think might find this useful. Keeping up with your budget can be difficult. There are times that you might spend a little bit over than you intended to, as long as it's an emergency or a special occasion, or you just simply messed up and slipped. You'll feel bad, you brush it off and you start all over. That doesn't mean your whole thing is destroyed. Sometimes a single budget for a week isn't enough. If the week isn't over and you still have extra money, update your budget to avoid making any more over expenditures. Being aware of the status of your budget and spending at all times will prevent you from making any more unnecessary expenses. It may feel like you're babysitting your budget too much, but it's going to be worthwhile once you're seeing that overspending start to decline. Keep your eye on the budget and always take notes if you want this budget to be intact. One easy tip to follow is to check your budget and look at areas where you tend to overspend and identify where you go overboard with your money or where you use your plastic it can help you avoid these tendencies. It could be that you spend too much when you go to a restaurant or when you hang out with your friends, you tend to over drink or overpay for drinks. Once you've spotted the times where you got a little careless, then try to use cash in those moments to limit your spending. Like when you go out with your friends, bring cash so you can limit yourself. Leave your credit cards behind and that'll make sure that you're not overspending and stick to a budget and only use it if there was an emergency. Better yet, try a cash only week challenge. Sometimes our impulses can be too much to handle, but identifying that trigger point when you want to spend can help you target or change that behavior. If you see something you really like, maybe it's food or maybe it's clothing, make it a goal for you to think about it first. Think about the pros and cons when you get to that particular item and do this for at least three days before you make a decision. Leave it in your cart for three days and then go back to it and see if you still need it. To fight your impulses even further, make a note to yourself. You could use a small notebook or you can use your phone's wallpaper to remind you not to give in to your impulse buying and continue to practice rationalizing with yourself if you needed those new pairs of shoes. At least this way, you'll be practicing on preventing yourself from making impulsive decisions and forming good habits that will stop you from splurging later. With how busy everyone's life is, it is easy to forget a subscription that you've paid for months in, or even years in advance. Maybe it's that recent YouTube video that made you subscribe to another video sharing platform to learn different skills or that email that gave you free trial for two weeks, but you've completely forgotten about it now. These are those sneaky traps that you should be wary of. That's why it's important to always keep your eye on the budget every week and every month to spot these unnecessary expenses. So try the no spending a month challenge. Once you're getting the hang of controlling your impulsive buying, start by listing everything that you're supposed to pay for, like the essentials and the necessities, like the rent, the food, the bills, etc. Then list all of the stuff you shouldn't spend on, like your cravings for clothing, shoes, or expensive coffee, or even fast food. With the help of technology nowadays, you can conveniently have your paychecks automatically deposited into your savings or your emergency fund or your vacation fund. Just use your bank's app to set it all up. Not only are you going to reduce your chances of making unnecessary purchases when you go out or do your shopping, you'll also free up more time for yourself and have a savings for your future. Just a quick break. I'm going to share exciting news with you. I'm giving away a free book on money management with no strings attached. If you sign up using the link below, you'll receive a free PDF copy of my book. I've compiled all the best resources on money management, especially for younger people, millennials and younger who want to become future millionaires. So make sure you grab a copy. We we'll put a lot of time and effort into it. You'll get a ton of value. I'm not asking you for anything, but to download the PDF. If you like the type of content that I'm giving you, please go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe buttons and let me and the algorithm know that this video is useful to you. And I intend to bring you content like this each and every week. So make sure you also turn on on that notification bell so when we release a video you are notified if you're still having hard times controlling yourself to help you regulate find an accountability friend that you can rely on hopefully they also don't have a shopping habit and if they do you can help each other there are a lot of different groups out on social media and there are forums of people that are in the same boat as you they also may be looking for accountable friends that will help them prevent them from
from going on shopping sprees as well. You can try hashtag debt free community on Instagram and find people who will check up on you on a weekly basis. And if you don't like strangers meddling with your finances, ask a trustworthy friend or a family member, a parent, a sibling, whoever. But there's only a few things out there that are as humiliating as being broke. These are my tips if you're overspending or you need to restart your budget. And I hope that you apply these tips and not only just listen to the video. Remember, don't be too hard on yourself if you slip. It's okay to modify your behavior every once in a while and eventually it'll impact your personal finances and your future. Remember to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed it and comment down below and tell me some of the tricks that you've been applying to stay on budget. I'd love to hear from you. If you want to learn more about savings, check out this video I made about the eight benefits of saving money for the future.